In this short movie, we're going to take a look at Stardrop's Derek Nexus module. Here, we're going to see how knowledge-based prediction of toxicity can be used within a multi-parameter optimization environment to guide the selection and design of compounds with a good balance of properties and reduced risk of toxicity. In this data set, we have 152 COX-2 inhibitors for which we have measured PKIs, and we've used this to construct a chemical space. Each point represents a single compound, and the greater the structural similarity between any two compounds, the closer those two points will be within the chemical space. Colouring the points in this space based upon their measured PKIs, we can quickly see which clusters contain the most potent compounds, in this case the yellow ones. However, the most potent compounds are not necessarily the best starting point for a high quality lead series. Ideally, we would like to identify a potent series that is also likely to have an appropriate balance of ADMI and physicochemical properties. Stardrop's probabilistic scoring approach to multi-parameter optimization makes it easy to identify which chemistries have the best balance of properties. Here we have defined a scoring profile in which we have indicated the desired value for each property along with its relative importance. Using this, we can very quickly generate a score for each compound. Sorting the dataset by the compound scores allows us to quickly see which compounds have the best overall balance of properties. We can now colour the points in the chemical space based upon the overall score. From this, we can see that the most potent cluster is now quite red, indicating that it is unlikely to have acceptable ADMI properties. Alternative regions now look more promising. Note that Celecoxib is one of the top scoring compounds, giving us confidence that the scoring profile is prioritising high quality compounds for COX-2 inhibitors. We're now going to consider the potential for toxicity, and for this we will use Stardrop's Derek Nexus module. From the range of toxicity predictors, we are going to see if there are any alerts for the carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, hepatotoxicity or mutagenicity endpoints. These models take about a second for each molecule and so this sequence has been shortened slightly. We can see from the results that a number of our top scoring compounds have a plausible risk of hepatotoxicity and carcinogenicity. As such, it would make sense to include these toxicity predictions within our scoring profile. Adding carcinogenicity and hepatotoxicity into our scoring profile, we can now rescore the compounds. Colouring the chemical space based upon the new profile allows us to see which regions have the best balance of good potency, good ADMI and low risk of toxicity. Based on these results, an appropriate strategy would be to focus experimental and synthetic resources on the highest scoring compounds. However, given the potency and good ADMI properties of some alternative regions of the chemistry space, it would be appropriate also to sample a small number of additional compounds for further tests to confirm the predicted hypotheses and avoid missing valuable opportunities due to uncertain data.